Hello everyone. From time to time, I like to give you guys quick updates on things I think that are very meaningful for those that are in digital planning and note taking. And today we have an update, a beta release for the Remarkable 2 2.14 is going to allow you to introduce tags into your digital planning and note taking. And I'm going to show you how you guys can use tags to optimize and organize your notes, your daily plans, your to do's in a digital planner. So stay with me. Well, first and foremost, I'm Brandon Bonerfer, and for those of you guys who do not know me, I'm the creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System, a system built for you to help your vision, your ideas, your thoughts, get down on the paper, get into digital planning that allows and enables you to reach your goals, your aspirations, and accomplish the milestones that are going to make a meaningful difference in your life. Today, we're going to talk about the Remarkable 2 and re released that just came out for beta users 2.14. It's going to allow you to introduce tags into your planning system. Now, according to the overview of the beta software release 2.14 beta, in this release, we're introducing tags. Use tags to add keywords to your notes, folders, and documents to quickly organize and filter them. Now, when I first saw the information and in notes on this beta release coming out, I got pretty excited because for so long in the Remarkable Planning System itself, I've had to try to build an index or a navigation system that really was around my intuitive thinking and not something I could easily gather and piece things together. Well, with tags, you can instantly drop tags into your notes and bring those all into a collective folder so they can easily access them. And I'm going to show you the first thing that makes a big difference in that. So a lot of you guys that are in digital planning have to-dos. You have uh, different things on your plate that are daily to-dos or things you want to get done. Well, I can go into tags and I can add things to do as a tag on this page. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump to the next page. And you can see right here, I have a tag. I have no tag selected. That's why it's dark at first. By tapping on that, I'm going to add things to do. And you're going to instantly see that turns dark. And then I'm going to go ahead and write a to-do. Release video. Now, if you're in today we planning, you use these to-dos every day. But how I'm using this to-dos is a way for me to clear my to-do list and know what I still have as open tasks. So I'll talk about how you create the tags here in a minute, but I want to show you this because I think it's so cool and exciting. So I'm going to jump in to my planning system into the main menu of the planner itself. And you'll see right here up on top, it says menu. I tap menu and you can see tags have been added. I tap on tags and you'll see right now I have three pages, things to do, and staff. It's only going to show me the tags that I currently have that are positioned on a page or a folder. Well, I want to sort by things to do. And you're going to see right now I have three pages that have things to do. I'm going to remove that and just tap on staff meeting and you'll see that it drops down to one. We'll touch on that here in a minute. But let's look at things to do. And let's look at the three pages. And you can see right now I have three pages. I'm going to pull up the one that is the most recent, this one here. Now, this was the page that we were just recently at. Now, one of the to-dos on here was how was to release a video. I'm going to mark the checkbox there. And I'm going to come back here, go into tag. I've completed all my to-dos on this page. So I'm just going to untap that. And now, if I go back to my main menu, and go back into tags, you're going to see that I only have two pages. Because I marked off the tag as things to do, I no longer have that tag open. So I can use this as a dashboard to give me a list of all the open tasks and assignments that I have at a glance. So if it's across different notebooks, different planners, different pages, I can easily see all the things I need to do. And that's great for those that are in the daily planning world. Let's look at another way that we can look at this too. 
Maybe we have a landing page or a master page. This is something I encourage a lot of you guys to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on my planner. So for so long we had this key tab and we still have this key tab. It's a great way for you to index all your different note taking and customize the planning system to your liking. But right down here, I have an index page called things to do and it's page 31. So I'm gonna click on page 31. It'll take me to this things to do page. This to me is like a master list of all the things that I'm doing. I usually keep this as a running tab for all the things that are currently in plate that I haven't assigned to a particular day in planning, but just things I need to get done. I'm gonna go into here now and I'm gonna go tap and I'm gonna go things to do. And I'm gonna put an important on that one as well. What this allows me to do, if I go back into my menu on a dashboard from the tags, you can see that that important things to do is now listed. So I can sort by important and things to do. And this is now gonna show me that page when I tap on it, it's gonna open that page directly up to this things to do. What's also really cool about using the tags, it allows you to have kind of like a quick access menu of all your different notes across all your different planners, kind of like a bookmark, but definitely more enhanced. Now, you guys have been along this long and you've been wondering like, how to do I go ahead and create these tags? Well, we're gonna jump into June and we are gonna jump into the 8th, which is a Wednesday, coming up next week. And I am going to have, a, I'm going to have, that's what, what, what are we gonna do next Wednesday? Meeting with Tom. Now, Tom is an individual I meet with quite a bit and sometimes I wanna gather all of my notes and all of my scheduled days that I'm meeting with Tom, I'm gonna to be able to put those in some type of category or group them in a tag. So I'm gonna go ahead and click up here. I'm gonna go into tag. I'm gonna create a new tag. And I'm gonna put it in here. Meeting with Tom and hit enter. Now you can see that that tag has been added and it's automatically been assigned to this page. I can also go ahead and deselect that, but I'm gonna select it for this moment. Go back to my landing page, go into tags, and you can see meeting with Tom is now in here. I can easily jump back to that page. So one thing I was able to uncover is how to remove tags from your tag list. Now this is something that wasn't part of the release. I'm sure it's because it's a beta and Remarkable has not had the opportunity to show us. But I found if you go into tags and if you have a tag active on a page, once you go ahead and undo that tag and eliminate that from all the pages and undo it, when you come back in, that tag is no longer there. So that's how you go ahead and remove tags. So if you still see a tag in this window, that means there is a markup somewhere across your notebooks that there's still an active tag. Once you remove it across all the different pages and notations, it is no longer there. So guys, that is a quick look how to use tags to better organize your stuff. You can do this across written notes, daily planning. It is pretty awesome and it's gonna allow you a lot of flexibility when it comes to note taking and digital planning. Guys, if you've seen a little bit of what you like here, please hit the subscribe button. We're gonna uncover more videos about this device and other devices in the digital note taking world. If you've learned one thing, which I hope you did because that was the whole intent of this video, go ahead, hit the subscribe and like button so you can share that with the greater audience. If you got any questions up to this point, go ahead, hit the comments. Myself or someone in the community will gladly help you on your journey. I'm Brandon Bonifer, creator and founder of the Key to Success Planning System, a system that is geared towards your professional success. And if you wanna learn more about that, hit the description, there is the link there. It works on this device, as well as many other e-paper devices, as well as iPads, Samsung tabs, OneNote, you name it, we got it. I'm Brandon Bonifer. God willing, we'll see each and every one of you again. Peace out.